I am out here in the Dynamics 365 environment here, and we're kicking everything off in the project management and accounting module. So I'm going to walk through the setup of some projects that we can use to talk through revenue recognition in the project management and accounting module. So what I'm going to do first is run through some time and material examples first. So I'll just start out by creating a TNM project. And you'll see from a revenue recognition perspective, really everything in D365 for finance and operations will run through your project group. The project group controls how the system is going to recognize revenue. So when you're creating a project and you choose your project type of time and material, you'll be able to set up and configure these different project groups when you're setting up your projects in the system. What I'm going to do real quick before I come out of here is I'll just set up my project really quickly and then just show you where these project groups are set up. So in the project management and accounting module, out in the setup area, in posting under project groups, this is where you'll set up and configure all your project groups. And I have the two project groups that we have for T&M, and I chose one of these. In setting up your project group, the takeaway with regards to revenue recognition on your project group is in this ledger area. It's where you want to post your costs, and then these radio buttons here, or these little switches that say whether or not you want to accrue revenue on transactions as they post. So this is the key difference between these two project groups. One that is not accruing revenue will not have these switches turned on. The project group that is accruing revenue will have these switches turned on for the transaction types that you want to accrue revenue. So that's one post. And you can choose which transaction types you actually want to accrue revenue on as well. In my example here, all transaction types will accrue revenue for this project group, and none of them will accrue revenue under this project group. So if I head back to my projects, here I have this first one set up where there's no whips. No whip going to be recorded on my project when I post transactions. So I'm going to start my project up here and do a quick hours journal and post it and we'll go through the posting of it to show you exactly what's happening. All right, so I'm going to throw some hours onto this line and I'll post it. And I'm going to head out to my posted transactions form and here's the transaction that I just posted and I'll view the voucher. Now, this project group is set up not to accrue revenue, so the only transaction that gets posted here is the recording of the cost to the accounts based on the ledger posting setup. So based on the cost price I had, it made the appropriate accounting entry to account for the costs. And when you're not accruing revenue, the way the revenue gets recognized is through invoicing. So I'll go out and create an invoice proposal for this particular project. So when I create my proposal, there's the hours transaction that I posted ready to be invoiced. I'll create my invoice proposal and I'll post it. So I'm running through some of these screens fairly quickly, but these are pretty standard processes in the system. So I've posted my invoice and I'll head back and I will take a look at the voucher then for that posted invoice. And now you can see based on the posting of the invoice proposal there, I've now recorded my revenue and hit my accounts receivable. So that's the takeaway from the time and material where you're not accruing revenue is that all your revenue will be recognized upon invoicing, not upon the posting of the actual transactions. So I'll create another project out here, and we'll go through the second one. So we'll go through the WIP example here. So I'll create my project. I'll put my project in process. And we'll do the same operation here. We'll post some hours. Okay, so my journal's posted. And now we'll take a look at the posted transactions on the project 
and there's my hours and let's take a look at the voucher. So now you'll see that you'll have the two sets of transactions out here when you post your actual transaction. The cost is recorded but now we're accruing revenue based on the posting of that actual transaction. So as soon as the transaction posts, you're getting the recognition of the cost and you're getting the recognition of your revenue at the same time, at least the accrual of your revenue there. And then when you go ahead and invoice the transaction, you'll get another set of transactions here. So I'll go out here and create the invoice proposal. Here's my hours transaction. I'll post this invoice. And I'll take a look at the invoice journal again here. So let's take a look at the voucher. All right, so now you'll see what the system does is it will reverse the accrual that it had originally posted when you posted your hours transaction and then essentially record the revenue and accounts receivable. Depending on how you have your ledger posting set up, your revenue account can be the same as your accrued revenue account. Therefore, you wouldn't really have an effect on revenue upon invoicing. This one just happens to be moving it from one revenue account to another one. But that's the difference here is that when you're going to accrue revenue on your time and material projects, you're going to get the accrued revenue at the time the transaction is posted. And then during invoicing, you're going to get the reversal of the accrual and the recording of the revenue. And typically, this is a net wash. You're just basically clearing WIP and recording your accounts receivable. So time and material projects, pretty straightforward when it comes to the options that you have with regards to revenue recognition.